Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Nick and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can get started reselling hype sneakers. We're going to go through how you can get started and how you can make the most money possible. Let's get into it. All right, so first we're going to start out with the question, what exactly is a hype sneaker? A hype sneaker is a sneaker that was made in a limited quantity so the demand is very high. Like let's say a Jordan exit, for example. They make a limited quantity of those and therefore the demand is very high because they are very popular and therefore the price goes up. Now with that out of the way, we're gonna get into how you can actually start reselling and making money with this uh, side hustle. Um, so first you're gonna wanna download Nike sneakers and the Adidas app just to start out. All right, and then you're gonna wanna create accounts on both of those apps. And then after you do that, you're also gonna wanna download StockX. All right, and create an account on there too. Some people uh, like GOAT, and there's this big debate about whether to use GOAT or StockX. I personally like StockX because the fees are lower and there's no approval process to get started selling. Once you create the accounts, you're gonna wanna put in your address and a payment uh, option. I like PayPal because when you're using, like when you're going to get a shoe on Nike sneakers, you can just, you can set up a Touch ID pay and it's instant and you increase your chance of being the shoe greatly. I also like PayPal because it is more secure than just throwing out your debit card there. There's a lot of um, things that can go wrong when using your debit card online. So that's another reason why I like PayPal. And finally, I also recommend setting up a Google Sheets page to kind of organize everything and so you can keep it all straight so you're not confused about how much money you made or where this money went or any of that stuff. Here we have an example a uh, Google Sheets page. So let's say I got the Jordan 1 Retro High Royal Toe. And I bought it for $179.35. I purchased it on the um, 9th of May in 2020. And then I sold it on the 27th of May in 2020. I sold it for $268.00. My total stock X fee was $33.50 and my PayPal fee was, fee was $7.10. So you would take the buy price and subtract the sell price plus the stock X fee plus the PayPal P fee from the buy price and you get a profit of $48.50. So now we're going to go into the researching part. So you're going to want to open Nike sneakers and then in the top middle there will be an upcoming tab and you want to click on that upcoming tab. Alright, then you'll see a bunch of shoes that are going to be released soon or in later dates. So let's say there's, it's a, like a Saturday night and there's three shoes releasing the next Sunday morning. So I'll go into Nike sneakers on Saturday night and I will look at each of those three shoes. So I'll click on the first one, I'll find the name, find the price, and then I'll go over to StockX, search it up, and see if it's a profitable shoe. To determine if it's a profitable shoe, I will go onto the shoes page on StockX, then click the red sell button on the in the top right corner, and then from there I'll look through the sizes, find the one with the highest price, and I'll click on that. And then from there, I'm gonna look on the bottom for the bold price. The bolded price is the final price that you will get after all the fees and expenses of StockX. And I take that price, and then from that, I subtract the price of the shoe plus $10 for sh from shipping, and that will be my profit on the shoe. I usually don't mess with any shoes that are below a $50 profit. That's just my personal preference because prices can fluctuate after the shoe is released. After determining that the shoe is profitable, I will look at all the sizes and pick about four to five that I'm gonna focus on for the drop. The first two or three, I usually like to go for some of the higher range price sizes. And then for the fourth or fifth, I usually go for around the mid to lower prices because those ones aren't uh, as in demand so it might be easier to get them. 
after I pick those sizes, I usually go into my notes on my phone and I just type in those sizes in a note and just leave it there for the drop the next day. Then I'll go back into sneakers and hit um, notify me on that shoe so I don't, it sends me a rem reminder like 15 minutes before the drop so I don't forget that I'm trying to get the shoe. And then also, after you hit notify me, you're gonna wanna click on the shoe and engage in it with it a little bit. So read the description, there's a little like button, click that, maybe share it with someone, I don't know, you can maybe share it with yourself, maybe some friends who won't bully you too much. Um, but that, just spend a couple minutes on the shoes page. So, cause that shows sneakers that you want the shoe and you really like the shoe and that can increase your chances of getting the shoe. And then you're gonna do this for all three shoes that day. And then the next day you can just repeat that process again. But if let's say the three shoes for the next day are all profitable, you're gonna wanna obviously choose the one that can be the most profitable and just go for that one only. So now we're gonna go over what to actually do when it comes drop day. So what I like to do is log in about five to 10 minutes before and engage with the shoe some more. Maybe read the description a second time, look at the pictures again, all of that. And then I usually just turn my phone off again and wait until about one to two minutes before. Then I log back on and just wait until the shoe drops, all right? Once the shoe drops, you're gonna wanna move very quickly. You're gonna wanna hit the purchase, pick your size, and then hopefully you have PayPal set up, PayPal One Touch set up, so you can just put your thumb in and it'll pay right there, and then you're, you'll get in line for the shoe. And it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to, it's taken me like 10 minutes before just waiting in the line to see if I get it or not. So just be patient here and sometimes you won't get it. So the after five minutes, it'll say, sorry, this size is sold out. So then what you want to, want to do is go to your next size on your list that you put in your notes yesterday. All right, go to that size, try that. That sells out, go to the next one, all right? And just keep going down until you either get one or the shoe is sold out. Most of the times you won't get past five sizes before the shoe sells out if it is a uh, very competitive shoe. And now we're gonna get to the Debbie Downer part of the video where I have to tell you that a lot of the times you're not gonna get the shoe. Because the sh types of sneakers we're going for are in such high demand and they're so limited, you're not gonna get them all the time. Like for me, sometimes I only get one or two pairs every month. So it can be discouraging but just stick with it because when you do get a profitable pair, you can make 100 to $300 off a single shoe. And if you do end up getting the shoes, congratulations. Um, you have two options here. You can either sell them right away on StockX or you can hold them and see if the price goes up. A lot of times, uh, a shoe will be released and the price will drop and then a couple months later maybe the price will go back up. Uh, I know it's hard to wait that long so I usually sell them within like a week or two after I get them. I also got to warn you that this type of reselling is for most people it is just a side hustle because it's the uncertainty is so great in getting the actual shoe that you don't know when you're gonna get the next shoe. So um, if you really wanna, like if you're really into this and you really wanna grow business, I would recommend checking out sixfigursneakerhead.com. Uh, this guy started a website and a whole career out of reselling hype sneakers and he has a lot of great free info. He does have a, I think he calls it a playbook um, that you can buy if you're really serious about it, but I personally think you don't need it. And all the free content he has on his website is just as good. All right, guys, that will do it for this video. 
if you found this helpful and enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out as a new channel. Also, if you have any questions, just drop your question in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer it. For now, uh, thank you and see you next time.